myself and the crew here are getting ready to head to the city. This is Dylan. This is Grant. For those of you that don't know him, they're the new THP volunteers for this fall. Dylan needs a new bow. He's got uh, some retro action going on here. Very old. My dad bought this bow when I was, I think the year I was born, and he quit using it for a while. Let me have it in high school if I put new strings and cables on it. It's time for an upgrade. Still got the old square sights on her and everything. So that bow's older than you? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go get him a new bow. <laughs> Not to say that that won't work, you know. I mean, he's pretty accurate with it. Shoot, you've been hunting with it for a few years now and you've killed some deer with it, right? Mm-hmm. And Ted also needs a bow. So we're just gonna show you the process of how we pick out a hunting bow and where you can go to do it. Let's get on the road. Let's do this nice vehicle that we get to ride in that Grant, Grant brought for us to ride in. <laughs> we're just gonna give him some gas and then we can ride in his car. It's a pretty great deal, right? What? Oh. Can you believe this song was <laughs> released in 1990, or 19... Yeah, it looks like it might have been, yeah. 72, sorry, 1972. Oh man, they're pirating. You ever been to a pro bass? No, I just go to Cabela's. Oh, that's oh, the same thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> This one's got his eyes bugged out. Like that one back there. You just hit a certain point where it starts getting freaky. Obviously, we're in Bass Pro. We're gonna show you guys a couple different options today on places that you can go to find a bow. And this is just two of many options. I mean, you can go online, you can find them used, Cabela's, Shields, uh, lots of retailers. I mean, Walmart, as you all saw earlier this year, we did the Walmart challenge where Jake went to Walmart bought a bow, took it out, and started hunting with it. And that's what we're looking to do today with Dylan. This is the bear threat. I, mean, I was also looking at the bear divergent, but I think Zach's shooting that this year, right? It's ready to rock and roll, isn't it? All right, so we're here, the guys are shooting some bows, and one of the advantages to picking a bow at a spot like this versus a dealer maybe is you have a lot of options of package bows. So this bow, pick it up off the shelf. It's ready to go, it's lefty. So you've got a rest, sight, D-loop already on there, peep sight already on there, stabilizer already on there. You can buy this bow, walk out of here, and you're ready to start practicing and shooting. You know, a lot of these package bows, as you saw from the Walmart challenge, are the lower end. I mean, you're looking at 400, you know, that's 1200, that's 400 bucks, 300 bucks. And those things are almost ready to hunt. I mean, they are ready to hunt. Yeah. You're just, you just gotta buy some arrows and broadheads and tags and you're good to go. They're setting up bows for Ted and Dylan right now to try and practice shoot over in their range. And then they even get into some high-end package bows, you know, just depending on what your price range and what your preference is. Another nice thing about a place like here is you do have a broad range of different brands of bows. So you can shoot different bows, see which one feels best to you because Everybody's gonna have different preferences, especially when you first start. Well, that's what they're doing right now. Yeah. I mean, we came in here to get Dylan a bow, and Ted found one immediately that he liked. So Ted's in there practicing with it right now, and yep. Dylan's got three different bows that he's practicing with. The gun's off, man. The gun's completely off. 115 points, bull. I was on him every time. Fed up with it. Never again. Waste of 50 cents. How long have you been working Bass Pro then? Uh, the end of August, I've been here uh, seven years. I was a heavy truck mechanic most of my life, so. But, all but I love my hunting, and yeah. I figured this is just fall right in place. And it does. You see? Thanks, sir. You guys have a great time with it. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Take care. So I got the species, which is right here. It's. It was like 400 bucks. Yep. And then I also shot the threat and the divergent. And I mean, when Perfect. I came when I came in, I thought I was gonna buy one of these two. And it took me a while to figure out that I wanted this one, but that's one that just shot the best and felt the best for me. 
Now we're going to kill a deer with it, hopefully. That was a nice thing though. I mean, we came in here, we picked out a variety of different bows. The boys shot them until they found one that, that worked. Here. They'll all kill a deer. Right. They'll all kill a deer, that's right. No matter how good you are with the bow. If you can't sneak in on a, on a deer, you're not gonna shoot one. Thank Thanks, you. Mark. You bet. You guys have a great time. Yeah, hey, you too. Thank you. Now, we gotta go get Ted a bow and we're gonna go to the archery dealer right down the road. What we can do is we get backpack strapped and we'll just and we'll just carry it right out there, it'd be awesome. We had cameraman and hunter to stay. Yeah. Good thing you've been doing leg day and cardio recently. Yeah. All right, we're going into this archery shop now. Got the whole clan with us. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> this looks like something from Area 51. <laughs> it does. Um, what are you looking for out right here? I shot the last one I shot was like a 31 inch axle to axle, okay. so I like something around that. Okay. Well, we can shoot both of these here. We'll set them up. Uh, do you know what your draw length is? 28 and a half. Okay. I'll set them both at 28 and a half. And then if you want to try some other types also, we can try all of it and uh, kind of see what you like. Sounds good. All right, man. I'm looking for something that I shoot and I like, and that's about it. All right, so now we're going to be shooting the Kuma 30. It's a little bit smaller axe to axle. Uh, it's got a touch along a brace side on it, so it kind of has a little give and take both directions. So really, like, looking at all the bows, the biggest thing to really look at is see how that draw cycle feels, see how mm -hmm. it feels in your hand, the let off when it actually gets back, the valley, and then the shot after the fact. Yeah. All those little details, the difference from one bow to another. And just like I tell everybody, I can tell you all about all the bows, but I can't tell you which one you're going to like. Uh -huh. that's, that's the reason there's no perfect bow out there. It's all going back and trying everything and seeing what feels the best to you. So now this one's going to be a whole package deal. Um, you can get a bare bow or you can get it in the package. If you get a bare bow, it's going to be about 75 bucks cheaper than the whole package. Uh, you got about $175 worth of accessories that comes on it. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be a single cam system versus a cam and a half system. So what you're going to get on this is going to be a pretty smooth draw cycle. Um, but it's not going to be nowhere near as fast as what that cam and half system is going to be. Okay. Axe to axle, um, it's going to have a really big brace height on there. So again, that's going to slow it down some, but it's going to make it really easy to shoot. Brace height is going to be from the point where your hand actually goes into the bow to where the string is when it's resting. And so with that there, it's going to lower your power stroke. So it's going to slow the speed down, but at the same time, that's going to make it worse, easier to shoot, more forgiving. So what's the brace height on this one versus the other one? The other ones are wide. going to be about six inches. This one's going to be a seven and a half inch brace. What's the speed difference? So you're looking, those ones are right around that 330, 340 IBO, depending on which one. And this one's going to be a 310 IBO. Okay. So. Great shot. <laughs> well, the one on the right is my dad. Do you know who's on the left? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little worried at first. So my dad and Fred were really good friends. That's, um, that's cool. They used to hunt together a lot uh, way back when. That's good. Ted, talk about what like what you dealt with, what you shot, what you felt like, and what you want to see differently and try differently. I liked this one, but the only concern I have with that is I've never hunted with it that long of a bow, so like crawling around and stuff. I don't know if I'd like it. This one I liked because it was felt smooth and felt good. What's wrong with the 30 then? Uh, it just didn't feel right. Bo kind of chooses you, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. That's a man of a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back at Archery Field and Sports and came in last time um, and I ended up ordering a bow from here. So it's about a week or two later and we're back, about to pick one up, about to pick it up and get it set up. And so is Mindy, gonna get a lot of them set up today. Oh hey, those are our friends. Got your release to you have arrows with too, yep. or just grab one of those. I wanna see how this length looks first before I adjust it. So if we're dead straight right there. How's the length feel? About right. Oh, that's in Colorado. Colorado. Right. Should be yeah, pretty good. Go, dude. Whoa. Pretty close. Let's just shoot it at 20 yards. 
Well, that's about as easy as they get. This thing, paper tune, perfect, first shot, and shot like four arrows, and she's pretty much sighted in at 10, 20 yards, so just gotta get 30 and 40 set up, and we'll be good to go. But now it's time for these other knuckleheads to get theirs sighted in. You just you took one shot. Yeah, I took one shot and it was tuned. No and kidding. And then I shot like four or five arrows to sight in my 20 yards. It's, it's not perfect, but it's close. It's close enough. So you just put your same sight and whisker biscuit on from last year, didn't you? The whisker bits. The whisker biscuit's the one that came with the bow, but the oh, sight okay. is the sight is the same. We basically bought the same exact bow in two different places. We went to Bass Pro, show you guys the retail experience, and then we came to the archery shop, Archery Field and Sports. You know, either way works for getting into bow hunting, but you're going to get a little more expertise at a place like this. Yeah, for sure. You've got, you know, a range back there, which we also had a range at Bass Pro, and the gentleman that was helping us there was, was awesome as well. Main difference between the two is you're going to get more hands-on experience at the archery shop. You know, these guys, how long have you all been in business now? So we've been in business uh, over 30 years. So I want to say we're at 35 years we've been around. 35 years they've been here working on bows. So they know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, and his dad's standing over there with Fred Bear. Yeah, <laughs> he is. So that's that's pretty much the difference. I mean, if you're, if you're in a big city or something you don't have access to an archery shop but you do have access to a big box retail store like Bass Pro that sells bows then go and get involved in bow hunting. As you go come to an archery shop to get more expertise and you know take your shooting to the next level. Learn more about the learn finer, more. finer details. Yeah learn, learn more, more about more, the finer sure. details yeah. and such. If we had our choice like if we're getting our bows worked on or something I'm taking it to you guys because we don't know what we're doing. Did you tell them which bow that you chose? Uh, I got the species from Bear, and I. How much was that? It was like two ninety nine, three, no, four hundred like bucks. Four hundred, I think. I, I think see. Four hundred, five hundred, maybe. Yeah. And it was already set up. Like this is this bow comes with everything on it. But I just switched the sight out with my old sight that I had last year, and it tuned and got sighted in real fast. So. I'm happy with it. Good to go. We're going to get Jake's bow set up and then head to the ranch. But hopefully you guys like this video. We will see you on the next one.